What's up guys and welcome back to Rising Thrills, your number one source for Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Maryland roller coaster content. And if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you guys go over, you hit the subscribe button, and you put on all of the notifications. If you do that, that'll be a big help. Let's get into the video. In this video, I'll be going over two coasters that have been announced for 2025 in the Legacy Cedar Fair chain. So the first one of these is Snoopy's Racing Railroad, which this is a family launch coaster, exactly the same as the one at uh, Canada's Wonderland that they opened last year. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, but it's the same make, same model, and I assume it's probably almost the same. And from what I've seen, it's a good coaster, you know, and the POVs and stuff. It, it looks like a fun coaster. It looks fairly smooth, and, you know, what I've heard, it is a good coaster. But my only concern is Carowinds needs a major, you know, thrilling roller coaster. You know, it's been five, over five years since they got one of those. They definitely need one of those. Um, and, you know, I know, of course, they are adding a major coaster at King's Dominion this year, and... Yeah, it's, I would say Kings of Mini needs it more, but still, Carowinds needs one, and I just, I wish they wouldn't have added this this year, because I know that means that they're not going to be adding anything the year after this, so it'll probably be like another two years before they add a major thrilling roller coaster, which is what they need. Um, so, yeah, it's a great addition to the park. Yeah, it's, it'll be great for the families, great for the children. And it, I'm sure it'll be a great ride. But still, they need a major thrilling roller coaster, you know, before they get this. Because, you know, yeah, they need that. That's what they need. But still, I think this is a fun ride. And it still will be an, a great fit in the park. And overall, I'm just happy that they're getting a coaster. I predicted last year that they would get a coaster. But at least now they finally have a coaster. And there's also a, another attraction coming to the park. Um, and this is Charlie Brown's River Raft Blast. Which, this is... I don't see a ton about what this is but you know there's certain there's definitely a lot of rides out here like this i know uh at some of like the legoland parks they have similar rides to this it looks like a fun ride i know they had some sort of river raft blasting type of ride at uh cedar point and it really didn't do well not a lot of people wrote it so they removed it but i think this will do good um especially in the camp snoopy area and these two rides definitely two great additions and i i'm not sure how the camp snoopy is at carowinds but i i'm pretty sure they don't have a ton of rides but this is definitely a good addition um it's definitely good that they're adding two rides because if they were just adding one of these, I'd be like, yeah, they need, you know, a bigger addition than just one small family ride. But since they're adding both of these, it really makes a difference and it is a lot, definitely a lot better. So, you know, both of these rides, they're great rides and I'm sure they'll be, you know, great additions to the park, uh, Carowinds, that is. And, you know, just excited to see how they turn out. You know, will they perform well? I'm sure they will, and I'm sure everybody will love them, and definitely a good addition to the Camp Snoopy area in um, Carowinds. And I believe this is the whole new Camp Snoopy, uh, two major family rides, new ways to play. Um, so I'm not sure if this is a completely new area or they're adding this to a previously existing Camp Snoopy. I'm not sure, but um, and also these rides. They're not, there's not much out yet. There's still just a little information, but from what I see, the coaster looks almost exactly how uh, the Snoopy's Racing Railroad at Carowinds, uh, not not Carowinds, but Canada's Wonderland looks. It's, it's basically the same ride, so they probably got some deal if the company get two rides for a cheaper price. But for the second ride that was recently announced, this is Alpen Fury, a mix of Alpengeist at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and Fury 325 at Carowinds. No, I'm just kidding. But, I mean, it is a mix. It's a definitely interesting um, name. I'll get into later the theming behind that. But overall, um, this is a ride that will be going in their mountain section of the park. 
uh, and overall, it looks like a fun ride. Um, and it's definitely interesting that they decided to go with Premier Rides. This is a Premier Rides launching coaster, um, multi-launch coaster at that. And um, it's definitely interesting to see that they went with Premier Rides because I definitely been wondering like now that the merger is you know the the merger of Six Flags and Cedar Fair has gone through. Like, what companies are they going to work with? And Premier Rides definitely looks like uh, a company that they will, because I don't think Six Flags has had too many problems with them. Of course, they have West Coast Racers at uh, Magic Mountain, and then up at uh, Discovery Kingdom, they have a Skyrocket too. But overall, this is definitely it's it's fun to see that it is a, a unique ride and not just you know an off the shelf ride or. Uh, fairly cloned ride it is a completely unique ride nothing like it and you know a lot of people have been saying because it's an inversion coaster and they're having the record for the most inversion on one coaster in North America with uh, nine inversions but the thing is a lot of the inversions on this ride are rules like zero G rules, heartline rules, uh, you know corkscrews, that type of stuff rule, rules. Other than a rule the only other real inversion on it is uh, a stall, a zero G stall, which it's definitely fun to see that they have a zero G. A G it definitely is good to see that they have a zero G stall on this ride. You know, definitely, like I said in a video a while ago, you know, RMC is definitely a company that has been influencing other companies to add unique elements like the zero G stall, elements like that. And, you know, it definitely is good, but, you know, there, there's good and bad things to this ride. Um, it definitely looks like a good ride. It definitely is a good fit for Canada's Wonderland, and a lot of people have been saying, yeah, it might be the best coaster in this park. Obviously, I haven't been to this park, but it definitely looks like a good coaster, and I definitely think it could be one of the best, definitely, for sure, one of the best rides in the park. But overall, um, it, there, there are a lot of complaints that a lot of people have, you know, because it's a premier ride's coaster premier rides is known for their trains as of late they're really cramped so the leg room in the rides is not that much you know you don't have much room so when you're getting in and out of the rides you're out of the train you are hitting your legs you're hitting your your whole body and it's not fun to get out of them the one good thing is with a lot of the older premier rides or you know not older but like other premier ride trains is they have a comfort collar that goes over your neck uh, and your chest but this one doesn't it's just a lap bar so obviously we'll have to see how the restraints turn out hopefully they're good obviously we want them to be good but however you know that's just something to think about and overall I mean it looks like a good ride it's definitely interesting to see that they're going with premier rides of course a lot of people have a lot of concerns because it is you know a premier rides and how their trains are but to lay aside all the concerns that you know a lot of people have with this ride um, it looks like a great ride and the theming behind the ride is basically you're in a village and you're trying to explore the mountain and overall just you know you're going on an adventure which I mean obviously most rides that's what they're themed to hopefully they do a good job theming it um, I know some of the Cedar Fair coasters they're not the best with theming but overall um, you know it looks like it'll be a good ride the story behind it you know hopefully they theme it well but um, you know, story behind it, great. And overall, the ride just looks like a good ride. And, you know, plenty of inversions, which there is one airtime hill on in the ride. So, you know, hopefully it has some airtime. And hopefully with the inversions, you get a good amount of hang time and you get a good amount of whip. Because if you get all those types of, uh, you know, forces on your body, whip, uh, hang time, and airtime... It should be a very good ride, and uh, we'll just, of course, we'll just have to see how it turns out. And you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, it looks like it'll stretch pretty far out into the park, and you know, it'll look good. You know, how it fits in that such a small plot of land because they already have like four rides in the mountain of the park, and you know, just the fact that they're fitting another one is great. And you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know. 
how it comes out of the mountain and it shoots fire. That is a lot like Volcano and people have been saying, oh, this should have gone to King's Dominion. And especially since it's the same year that King's Dominion is replacing the ride, you know, the ride footprint of uh, Volcano. So, I mean, definitely that it's the same year that's worse. But overall, I mean, it's a great fastest park and um, definitely interesting to see that they went with Premier Rides and definitely is nice to see how such a small place that they fit this in, you know, that the only thing I think they took out was like a sky coaster, which of course sky coasters are upcharge attraction from your day ticket. And overall, it looks like there will be some pretty photogenic places, like where the stall is and stuff. It goes over the midway, and it, it definitely looks like a really good-looking ride, you know, from the visual aspect at the park. You know, looking at the ride, it's a pretty good ride. So overall, I can't wait to see how both of these rides, or all three of these rides, I guess, because of the water battle ride. But overall, I'm excited to see how these rides turn out, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you around.